welcome back to another Christmas decorating video. I have a fun little gift on my front porch to show you guys. We're going to be decorating the hot cocoa bar. We're going to be making a homemade hot cocoa recipe. It's kind of like, it can be like a hot cocoa bar slash coffee bar if you wanted it to be. I'm just super excited about this video. It's a little bit different than how I normally do my decorating videos and I think you guys are going to absolutely love it. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to jump right into it. So for this homemade hot cocoa recipe, you're gonna need a milk of your choice, whatever kind you like. You're gonna need chocolate to melt. You're gonna need unsweetened cocoa and you're gonna need vanilla abstract. I just chose all the brands that I love, but you can use any brands of any of these items. And then next I'm gonna be showing you guys, oh, and then also you need regular sugar, but I forgot to show it here. But I'm showing you guys now the toppings that I'm going to use in my hot cocoa bar. These peppermint balls, those mini marshmallows, and the mini um, peppermints that are in the back. Those are kind of like shredded peppermints. And those are from Michael's. A perfect fine for your hot cocoa bar. M&M's and chocolate chips. And then these Tony's bars I'm going to put next to the hot cocoa bar. These are apparently really hard to find and super good. I just now discovered them like because of TikTok. I was like, I need to find these. And then I found them at my local Publix and they are really good. I'm getting mini peppermint candy kings and then also gingerbread cookies because you have to have gingerbread cookies for a hot cocoa bar. These I could only find on Amazon but they are the best. Thank you so much to Caraway Home for sponsoring today's video. They sent me their beautiful cookware set and I'm so excited to share it with you guys today. I'm making some homemade hot cocoa in their pot and then the past week I've been cooking dinners and lunches with the pans. I'm so obsessed with this brand already and I'll be sharing a lot more of that short form content of me cooking with them on IG and TikTok if you want to go check it out over there. I have all the pots and pans laid out on my range because they are so stunning. This is the sapphire iconics color and i am just obsessed guys they are fully 100 percent non-toxic non-stick ceramic cookware and all the cookware sets come with storage organizers and that's no additional cost it just comes whenever you purchase a set and i'm going to be showing you guys how i organize using all the units in the organization at the end of the video and <laughs> It's so beautiful. So make sure you guys stay tuned to see that. I love all the color options, which I already told you guys this is sapphire, but I wanted to mention that all the colors that they have available are trending colors. So they're so beautiful to add a pop to your kitchen, but they also have neutral colors too, because I know some of you guys are neutral lovers. I think that this is the perfect investment for your kitchen. You can't get any better than this cookware. Honestly, I'm so obsessed. Like I said, even if you want to give this as a Christmas gift, it comes in beautiful packaging. I'm going to leave my referral link in the description box. If you guys want to check it out, you can save 10%. Thank you so much again to Caraway Home for sponsoring today's video. So right now I'm just giving you guys an overview of everything that I'm going to be using in the hot cocoa bar today. I absolutely loved how these gingerbread cookies turned out in this glass jar. I just think it looks a lot more presentable and you know, you just kind of, it, it just looks good. You know, you need a little bit of aesthetic looking good with the food in the kitchen. So I think that turned out great. I'm going to be linking these red jars and the little scoopers that I'm using for the hot cocoa toppings in the description box because I already know you guys are going to love those and you're going to want to check those out. I'm using mini marshmallows, um, sh like shredded peppermint. I'm not even going to say, it's like pe peppermint bits I guess is what I should say and I got both of those from the Michaels craft store if you guys didn't watch that video that was the previous video that I posted a couple of days ago um, where I show you guys all the Christmas decor at Michaels and then also they had a huge section of hot cocoa topping so I was showing you guys all of that this is where I picked that up and I'm also using these Schneider's um, peppermint pretzel balls so it's a little pretzel and it's coated with like white chocolate and peppermint on it and it's so good I found this from Publix I'm also using red and green M&Ms um, mini chocolate chips and then mini peppermint wait what are they called? Candy Kings. <laughs> Mini Candy Kings. And then what is the last thing that I'm putting in there? I'm like doing this voiceover as I'm watching the film. And I forgot what the last thing was that I put in there. I'm sure I'll show it here. Oh yeah. I got little chocolates, little square chocolates for the adults that, you know, 
on a little chocolate with our hot cocoa. I also have straws there and those can be used as stirrers or for the kids like my kids, they like when their hot cocoa is like room temperature and they like to drink it with a straw. So that's why I have that there. But I love a good hot cocoa bar, guys. So that's why I wanted to make a dedicated video to this today is you can use any toppings that you want in here. We're using this hot cocoa bar for our family Christmas party that we're having. Bentley's having a little play date with several of her friends this weekend, and it's a Christmas themed play date, and we're gonna be watching a Christmas movie, and I'm gonna have this hot cocoa bar out for them. If you have anybody coming over to your home, I love being a hostess, and so you gotta be a hostess with the mostess, and this is just the perfect thing to always have out for the holiday season. Like You don't even need to put this out just when you're hosting an event. You can keep this out all the time, and so with that being said, I am gonna be putting pre-made cocoa little mixes in this hot cocoa stand right here. I got this from the Target dollar spot, and if you are in a pinch with time or if you're not making a huge event so you don't want to do homemade hot cocoa or if you're just trying to get out the door or whatever it may be, I think just having these on hand is great to just keep next to there in case you don't have the ingredients or you just don't want to go the extra mile to do homemade hot cocoa, even though I would highly recommend doing it because it is so yummy and I'm going to be sharing that with you guys after I show you me decorating this hot cocoa bar so that is still to come and then i also placed the tony's chocolate bars in there and they are so good have you guys heard of these before because i saw them all over tiktok people were saying that they're so hard to get and they're the best chocolate that you'll ever eat i've only tried the caramel one and it was really good i will say that so now after I show you guys this, we're getting straight into making the home homemade hot cocoa and I'm going to put the recipe to this in the description box, but you're basically just putting it on medium heat. You're putting milk in, sugar, vanilla extract, you're going to melt the chocolate in there and you're going to whisk the entire time, okay? So I'll put the link to the Pinterest uh, recipe in the description box also, but with that recipe, it says stir occasionally. I do not suggest that. I suggest stirring it the whole entire time, kind of like you're making no bake cookies, because if you don't, the chocolate will get clumpy and nobody wants that for their hot cocoa. So definitely steer that the whole time, but it's only going to take about three to four minutes. Whenever it starts to bubble, like it's about to boil, that's when it's done. And it is so yummy. It's rich so good guys and whenever it cools off and you have leftovers you can put it in an airtight container in your fridge and then you can just warm it up for next time you have hot cocoa I love how this hot cocoa bar turned out. This can also be a little coffee station too. If you wanna put your Keurig over here or if you decide that you wanna put your hot cocoa stuff by where your coffee maker is and then people can make a coffee or they can make a hot cocoa. I just, I love how all this turned out and I think it's so great for the holiday season to just have a hot cocoa bar out. You do not have to buy new toppings every time you put this out if someone doesn't eat it all or use all the toppings, just put them in an, air, an airtight container or a Ziploc bag and you can just pull them out next time you, you make your hot cocoa bar. But I think this is perfect to have out for the holiday season when you're gonna have people coming over. It's the perfect hostess thing. So I needed to show you guys my idea for a hot cocoa bar. I hope you guys loved it and stay tuned because I'm going to be organizing all those pots and pans that Caraway Home sent me in just a second and it turned out really beautiful and it saves so much space. So I do want to show that to you guys. And then I also wanted to mention if you don't use all the homemade hot cocoa that we made today, then you can put it in an airtight container in the fridge and then you can just pull it out next time you want to make hot cocoa. Just warm it up and it will be good to go. Mm -hmm. 
When you purchase a Caraway Home cookware set, it's gonna come with an organization unit, and that is this little magnetic unit that you can use to store your cookware sideways in. It saves so much space in your cabinets, and it keeps everything together, and it looks nice. We all want that. It also comes with a carrier that can go on the inside of your cabinet doors to hold your lids. It's a lid holder. I am not gonna use that on the my cabinet door because I have these two pullouts in my cabinet. So I'm going to utilize this space for me and I'm going to put, I'm going to lay it down on the bottom as you can see here. And then I'm going to put the pots and pans at the top. And if you guys are wondering, yes, this is my mother-in-law's kitchen. For people that are new here, hi, I'm so glad you're here. And also, we live five minutes away from my in-laws and we are so close. Our family is so close and we love cooking with them and eating dinners with them. For the holiday season, we do do pretty much every single night we eat dinner together. Probably five out of seven nights we do dinners together. So I'm keeping my cookware set at their house because I cook over there so much. After the holiday season, I'll move it back home. But thank you guys so much for being here today and watching today's video. I hope you guys an amazing idea for a hot cocoa bar if you guys decide to do this in your home please let me know tag me on ig and let me know down in the comments and i will see you guys in the next video bye